Today's soap is coffee themed. I haven't made a coffee soap for a really long time. I don't have any available and it's going to be made with freshly brewed coffee. Most likely not all of this. This is a lot of coffee, but about eight ounces of coffee. I'm going to include a little bit of coffee grounds for some natural exfoliation, colloidal oatmeal, coconut milk, sugar, kaolin clay, sodium lactate, and a little bit of activated charcoal. Now my fragrance <clears throat> was on sale. I am not a fan of this fragrance's name, so I am going to personally change it because even though I can have a good laugh at toilet humor, a fragrance called reindeer poop is not appealing to me when it comes to soap. I'm going to change the name of this fragrance oil to Cozy Cocoa because that sounds a lot more appealing as a bar of soap than reindeer poop. The fragrance notes for this soap is hot cocoa, steamed milk, vanilla cream, and maple sugar. So, sweet. Very sweet. The vanillin content is 8.9%. So this will discolor to a very dark brown. Therefore, I'm going to leave a little bit of uncolored batter to have not a 100% brown soap, because you know how I feel about brown soap. And here I am buying a fragrance called Reindeer Poop that turns your soap brown. Never gonna do that again, probably, maybe. But I'm changing this so when you see the label on my soap, if you ever bought it, it's not gonna be called Fragranced with Reindeer Poop. It's gonna be called Fragranced with Cozy Cocoa. So <clears throat> there's my little soap box on using poop labeled things on your soap. One of my favorite movies is Dumb and Dumber. So I can totally laugh at those kind of jokes. Just not with my soap. Alrighty, our lye coffee water. I forgot to mention in my intro that I had some silver mica that I'm going to be adding uh, unscented batter to. Get that mixed in there a little bit. So now we're gonna add the fragrance, the colloidal oatmeal, the kale and clay, the sugar, the coconut milk. What else? I feel like I'm missing something. add some to um, activated charcoal and coffee grounds. Look at how wild I was. Just poofed into the bowl. And we'll stick blend this. So I used to add coffee grounds to the entire batch of coffee soap, but then I've seen a few soapers add it to only a portion of it, and I love that idea because then it's not as dramatic. You don't have a fist full of coffee grounds, you just got a nice bar of soap with coffee grounds in it, and I like that. I like that a lot more. Now to decide what design am I gonna make. It's still really thin, isn't it? Well, we know this fragrance oil does not accelerate. That's good. I think we're gonna do an in the pot swirl. Am I sure? Mm, yes. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So let's do an in the pot swirl at midnight and at five o'clock and at nine o'clock and then at midnight and at five o'clock i'm gonna save the rest for the top all right check that out let's pour this in here
I'm going to pour all of it in here. All right, and then with my uncolored batter, I'm going to pour down one side. And swirl this. Hopefully it doesn't get muddy. I want the rest of this white batter to kind of thicken up because I kind of want it on top. So we got to wait for this to not be so fluid. All right, it's firm enough. I don't think it'll fall in at least. That's all I really want. Other side here. And now the ever famous infinity swirl, which I think I probably will have to do twice. There we go. I like that. See you for the cut. Again, just like with my last three soaps, this one took a very long time for me to decide to cut it because it, I, I added like twice the amount of liquid as usual. I think we're gonna let this set out for 20 minutes before I actually cut it. Okay, I think I say that every time, okay. Still really soft. Ooh, really pretty. Now all of this yellowy looking soap is going to be brown. You can see that here on the border. It's gonna turn into a caramely, chocolatey brown. So keep that in mind. Nice swirls, very nice. Making swirly soaps is pretty satisfying because they tend to come out nicer than others. Lovely. Nice, I like these. I like that the white is actually broken in this one. It's not a clump. Again, I have coffee grounds in only a small portion of the soap. It's the darkest portion. By the way, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see a picture of some major fragrance leakage that I had on top, and it soaked back in. It's kind of where that darker orangey brown is. There were beads of fragrance oil on top of my soap. They seem to have absorbed right back into the soap grateful for that. I haven't seen a fragrance oil leak quite that dramatically of before on top. Every time I've had a fragrance oil leak, it's been after the cut and there'd be like little beads around here, but it was nothing dramatic. And our final cut. Nice. It's only been one day in my, my bar has already discolored to a dark brown, I bet it'll get even a little bit darker. Like the other swirls besides the uncolored batter. Why do I keep saying uncolored? I'm really glad I chose to not fragrance just a little part of it. Almost like trying to see wood grain in extremely darkly stained wood. It's like you, you can see it, but you really gotta look. The fragrance itself is good. It's kind of a chocolatey, almost like a bittery, sweet, vanilla-y chocolate. That's, it's not quite just straight chocolate. It's got some vanilla, which clearly it's got vanilla in it. I don't dislike it. It's just not one of my favorites. Maybe it's one of those fragrances that actually smells better when you use it. Cause I have experienced that before where a fragrance that I'm like, ah, oh, that's all right. No, oh, that's okay. I like it. And then I wash my hands with it and it's really good. An example of that actually is fresh coffee fragrance oil that I used from Candle Science long ago. I was like, eh, coffee, coffee soap smells okay. But when I was using it, it smelled really nice. So 
That's my hope for the cozy cocoa fragrance oil. Thank you again for watching. I can't even tell you how thankful I am for you. I hope you get at least a little bit of enjoyment from my videos. What do you suppose I should add to improve my videos? What would make you want to stay longer? So I'm looking forward to our next exciting experience. It's actually not gonna be a soap. I'm going to learn to make something brand new that you probably already know how to make. Can you guess what it's going to be?